Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. This video will be talking about JavaScript constants and how to use them. So let's begin. In our last video we were discussing variables. Um, how to assign a variable with a variable keyword and give it a variable name and then giving that variable a value. Now one thing I want to clear up which you'll probably catch up on and which people will probably say in the comments. I said a variable is just a container, which it is. It's a, it's a placeholder um, and the value, it's a placeholder for the value to be used. I said for a later date to be used for a later date, but obviously you don't want to create a variable and use it at a later date. What I meant was you can create it and use it whenever you get ready. And the reason why it's called a variable is because you can change the value to whatever you want. In this video, we're going to be talking about a constant. Now, let me go ahead and open up the constant uh, file that I have here. We saved this as an HTML file, and then we embedded JavaScript code into that HTML file. Um, and we're going to be doing that throughout this series, so get used to it. If you don't know how to create HTML files and then open them up, um, go ahead and look at my earlier uh, website series, web uh, HTML series. It shows you how to open up files and save the files, and, and as well as uh, cascading style sheets and JavaScript uh, files as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin. I went ahead and in the interest of in the, in the interest of time I went ahead and would and created the uh, file for us to examine so just go ahead and right click it we want to open it up as a text file and we are presented with this menu now I'm using Linux Mint however if you're using Windows or Macintosh or some other type of Unix or Linux distro you will see something similar to this and you just want to choose another menu that says open with and you want to choose text file uh, text editor left click on text editor that opens up the file and as I said this is an HTML document and we saved it with the extension constant dot HTML okay and then in the title we have the the name constant and then we have the body inside the HTML okay so to go over this real quick uh, this is regular HTML script right here okay all this highlighted is just regular HTML script so we got the head that says this is a JavaScript constant and then we got this paragraph here right and then we have what is known as a paragraph tag ID. This is also HTML tag right here. Now where the difference comes in is where we embed the HTML code, which is the next line right here. And then to embed HTML, or I'm sorry, JavaScript code. We want to embed JavaScript code in an HTML document. The way we can do that is we create a script tag and then we close the script tag and in between it we put our um, JavaScript code okay now creating a constant is similar to creating a variable as some people would say a constant is just a variable whose value does not change okay but what you want to do for the JavaScript side is you want to create the keyword or have the keyword con st and that's just short for constant then you want to give your constant a name and then you want to give it a value which is equal and then whatever value you want to give it this is a string right here so it's going to be in between quotes and you just give it whatever value you want to give it whether it's a string or a number and then you close that out with a semicolon all right and then as we said in the previous video you want to create your HTML DOM method 
That's what this is right here. If I didn't explain that in the other video, that's what I meant. This is an this is known as an or I'm sorry, a Java script uh, method. That's what this is, a JavaScript method, and you give it the name document dot get element by ID, and this is this comes from a, a plain old va vanilla JavaScript library. So you want to you want to go ahead and type it out exactly as is, okay? And then you want to give it a name. This is the uh, ID name that JavaScript is going to use to search out on that HTML document. Now, I just gave my, mine the name value. You can give it whatever name you want to. You just got to make sure that the paragraph ID, whatever that name is, is where you want to put this name right here in the JavaScript document. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and do a dot and then add in this um, property right here. This is going to be the value that shows up in the uh, paragraph ID tag. Okay, and I just put in equal Gmax is a big, and then you got the colon, and then you got, you put a space in here because right here is where you're going to put your constant value. All right, and then I just said add this constant that's the constant name right there. And that's it. And then you just close out your script, your JavaScript, your JavaScript script. <laughs> and then you close out the body in the HTML document. Okay. And so we just go ahead and save this. Right. And then we go ahead and open up a browser. Any browser will do. And then we just go ahead and put our HTML document in that browser. And then, as you can see, it shows here the JavaScript, um, I'm sorry, the HTML uh, title or head, which is JavaScript constant, right? This is our paragraph, and this is our constant with the constant value, fat man. And it just says Gmax is a big fat man. That's it. And that's what a constant is. A constant is a value that is not changed or cannot be changed once you give it a value or as I said earlier um, according to some people a constant is a variable that cannot be changed okay so that's how you would go ahead and create a, a, a constant with JavaScript it's very simple very easy I think you can get that um, that's it for that video look forward to our next video Thank you very much for looking at this one. Please like and subscribe and you have a good day.